while talking to the clients once in a week i definitely get this one question the question is you know what i want to live debt free uh, let me actually give it a quick tip on there so when you say you want to live debt free uh, i was reading a book rich dad poor dad and then robert kiyosaki who's author for that book i was saying you know what if you uh, it's like you either create an asset or you create a liability if you're creating a liability which means any money which is going from your pocket out every single month you're creating a liability and if any anything which brings money back in your pocket that's creating an asset so let me put it this same context into the investment side if you are wanting to live debt free if you, as long as if it's your personal property that's fine that's okay but if you're thinking about hey i want to have investment properties i want to buy take the mortgage and then i'm going to pay off that mortgage i don't think it's a great idea so let me give it a quick example of the numbers let's say today mortgage interest rate is let's say 2% on a 5 year fixed term i mean i'm just giving a hypothetical in you know i think first week of march yes in 2021 so that's what the interest rate is and your annual appreciation is around about 6 and a half 7% so guess what in, in effectively your your cost of borrowing for you is 2% a year and your return is almost 6 Let's say seven percent a year. That's your return. Now you gotta make that decision. If you are borrowing that money, think about it for a minute. I'll give you the money and I'll charge you two dollars. I give you hundred dollars and charge you two dollars, and then you rent and you rent or you give out this money or you lend this money to to Mr. X, and he's giving you seven dollars. So which means the difference between two percent and seven percent, which means five dollars, you keep it with you. Now the question is. should you actually live debt free uh, matter of fact is most corporations don't most businesses don't and the reason is because it is it is you take the money and you employ the money and the money is working for you if you don't do that guess what who is working for money and you're right you are working for money now is it a uh, you know open up a new conversation that hey how would you do that what well, definitely there are different ways you can do this uh, i mean if you are Uh, in investing what kind of a property what kind of annual return are you looking so answer to your question well should i look, look debt free well there's a good debt and a bad debt right the good debt is if it's making money for you bad debt you are creating a liability so i think it's better off you are better off by by living uh debt to debt as long as your money is earning more money for you so in other words your roi is bigger than your cost of borrowing hopefully this helped we'll talk soon have a good one bye bye